Hi guys, welcome to our topic for discussion today. We're going to look at the, 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 the concept of the Compton effect and this in addition to the concept of a photoelectric effect, uh, Young's deposit experiment <clears throat> and other, of course, the, the one that we have already discussed about the black body spectrum. They're going to form the basis for the concept of uh, quantum mechanics as we have already uh, referred uh, others to. So in this case, we're going to look at the, this experimental setup that was uh, done by other Compton. Of course, this one version of the illustration, we can have different versions. But I've chosen this one in order to try and uh, illustrate how we can be able to demonstrate uh, this effect of uh, <coughs> the, the Compton effect. <coughs> Sorry for that. So this uh, concept of the, uh, the Compton effect was uh, developed by other Compton. Uh, in order to try and demonstrate how the photoelectric effect can be used to verify the particle nature of matter and therefore we can be able to 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 to, to see that uh, there is application of the photoelectric effect and in an essence trying to borrow from the concept that uh, of course uh, was developed by 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 uh, or explained by einstein on the photoelectric effect therefore we are going to see other compton trying to apply this specific concept of the, the, the to develop the theory of a uh, Compton effect in an essence in a sense that uh, the, the 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 Einstein's quantum theory of light that was used with the assumption that uh, the the photons which we said are packets of energy possess momentum and of course we are going to see that uh, it is based on some uh, some of the the postulates that we are going to look at in order to come up with the uh, the illustration that I've mentioned on the right part of uh, the board, which is trying to give an uh, a, a evaluation of uh, what basically happens in this specific experiment. Now, the setup for this experiment consists of uh, an X-ray source, which of course consists of uh, this tube that I've given on the left side of the illustration, which generate uh, X-rays, and then they move uh, to this part that is known as uh, the collimeter. The collimeter consists of S1, S2, S3, and S4, whereby we're going to see the, 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 the function of these specific collimeters. And then we have got another, of course, a target that we are going to see uh, that consists of uh, this specific pattern. Then we have from this section to this one that consists of analyzing crystal, the ionizing chamber, the form what we call Bragg's spectrometer. And uh, basically, <coughs> we're going to see that uh, this is uh, the, the, the part that measures the intensity of uh, scattered photons of uh, X-rays at different angles uh, by analyzing uh, the, these specific crystals in this ionizing chamber. So therefore, <coughs> this basically illustrates the concept of the Compton effect, whereby we're going to see the concept of uh, momentum uh, being conserved which basically we study in under the, 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 the concept of energy and work, whereby we find that uh, there's a conservation of our uh, momentum. And therefore, <coughs> this gives us an essence that this particular photon can be treated as, a, of course, as a particle. So in this case, as I've said, we have a X-ray tube, and this basically is used to generate what we call a that monochromatic X-ray that passes through the slits that we have referred to as the collimeters. So in an essence, when we talk about the concept of a monochromatic, we refer to a light or a other radiation of a single wavelength or frequency. So therefore, this is used to generate a monochromatic X-ray that passes through the collimeters that we have referred to as S1, S2, and S3. So therefore, the functions of these collimeters is to is to pass the photon only of a monochromatic x-ray in a, just a single direction as illustrated by the arrow that i've put on the board so therefore this is going to be incident on the graphite block which we refer to as the target and of course it's a which basically is going to scatter this particular uh, ray in all directions so the Scattered beams, of course, uh, are going to be measured by the this particular chamber that we refer to as the Bragg spectrometer uh, at different angles. 
and we're going to see that uh, this is going to to be shown as I have illustrated on the board. So at the specific angles that we have seen, of course, at the, this particular range, we're going to see the intensity against the wavelength being shown as the ones that have illustrated on the board. And therefore, as I said, this uh, <coughs> particular set of an experiment, which is the Compton effect, of course, is based on uh, Einstein's uh, quantum theory of light. And of course, we are going to see that some assumptions on, from Einstein's quantum theory of light are going to be applied in uh, what we have uh, referred to as uh, the Compton effect. So therefore, we are going to regard this uh, monochromatic X-ray as, a, of course, a beam of uh, photons that are traveling in this direction. And we're going to see that uh, as we refer to a photon, remember from the photoelectric effect, Einstein relied on the quantum theory that was proposed by Planck, uh, Max Planck. So therefore, the energy of this incident photons is going to be given as HF, which is a product of uh, Planck's constant times the frequency. So therefore, this is the way in which we are going to regard this specific incident monochromatic light. So from that one, <coughs> or if we consider that one being a photon, then therefore it can be considered as a relativistic part particle, and therefore it's going to travel at the speed of light. So therefore we can be able to derive its momentum using this one. And remember that we can be able to illustrate frequency using uh, C over lambda. So doing a substitution, we can find that the incident momentum for this specific photon can be given as H V over C, where this V is the frequency and C is the speed of light. And as I've said from Planck's, uh, of course, our uh, energy illustration, this is H V, which is our uh, V represent frequency, and H is Planck's, uh, uh, Planck's constant. So therefore, this two specific, uh, 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 this one accounts for energy, and this one accounts for the momentum of the incident photon. So therefore, we are going also to see that uh, <coughs> upon hitting this uh, graphite element, it is going to result in the what we call as the elastic uh, collision. And from uh, <coughs> the concept of collision that we have talked already in one of our videos, we can just give an, a basic uh, definition whereby this is an encounter between two bodies in which the total energy of the two bodies remain the same. So therefore, in this case, momentum is going to be conserved. And then we are going to see that this is an encounter between a photon and an electron that is illustrated by E negative, that is an electron at rest. Therefore, we can be able to give the energy of an electron at rest using the Einstein's energy mass relationship. This is E for uh, the, the electron at rest is equals mc squared whereby momentum at this particular juncture is equals zero. So therefore, at this particular point before collision, this is how we can be able to illustrate the momentum of this particular <coughs> electron. So this gives an assumption that uh, maybe the electrons in this particular material were at rest before they were collided or they, 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 they experienced a collision with this specific photon. And therefore, we are going to consider these ones as free electrons uh, of a particle. Now, at this specific point where we have a Bragg's spectrometer, we are going to see that uh, the equations of a Compton shift basically gives an analysis of uh, what happens from the incident uh, photon to the collision and then the scattered photon and the recoil electron in form of equations. So therefore, suppose this uh, <coughs> photon is uh, scattered at an angle theta, we're going to see that the energy after scattering can be given as HV prime, which is uh, the, a new frequency that it attains after collision, and the momentum can be given as HV over C, and then if it's happening along the incident photon, uh, I mean the, along the line that has, uh, was of course uh, assumed by the incident photon, then we are going to have the energy represented as uh, just the one that was given before. But if we have an, uh, of course, uh, energy and momentum of a recoil electron in this specific direction, then we are going to have it uh, at this particular angle whereby the energy of the, uh, the, the, 
the particle can be represented as, or the electron can be represented as a summation of a P squared, C squared plus M initial, that is squared, C4, a half. So basically we are going to see that the momentum of an electron is conserved and therefore from this specific analysis of the, the experimental illustration from the Compton effect that we see being demonstrated, therefore we can say that the momentum in this case is conserved. See, this behavior we see it being displayed by particles that have undergone collision. Now we are assuming that the, the, the collision is elastic. In that case, of course, we are going to see that there is a conservation of momentum. So basically from this particular argument, we can therefore be able to uh, to illustrate that <coughs> uh, the, the, part, the particle nature of matter can be verified by trying to apply the photoelectric effect from this particular case whereby the analysis of the, the photon and the, the, the recoil electron after collision basically gives the impression that uh, the Compton effect uh, tried to shed light on the, the nature of uh, particles and of course the relationship between the nature of particles and the, the, the waves as we have already shown in other experiments like the photoelectric effect and the young double slit experiment and the black body radiation. So therefore I hope that we are going to remember this uh, just a summary of the, photo, the, the Compton effect when we are going to discuss about other aspects that may come, we may come across uh, relating to the same. So for that case, I hope that uh, the illustration is going to assist us in working out some of the areas in which we may come across that pertains to the concept of the Compton, uh, the, the, the Compton effect. So that is it for today. Thank you. Bye guys. God bless.